trades on the NASDAQ under the symbol HSCS. It's a medical technology company focused on applying innovative AI-based technology to an ECG, also known as an EKG, to expand and improve an ECG's clinical utility. Happy to welcome President and CEO Andrew Simpson. Welcome back, Andrew. We're looking forward to your update today. Thank you. Thank you for having me back. Um, so as you said, we are about transforming cardiovascular screening and the tool to do that is by radically upgrading the ECG, which in the US is also known as the EKG. Um, we have safe harbor statements, which uh, people will be familiar with. And you know, what we're about is gearing up to radically change cardiovascular care, uh, care for heart screening. And we are the only company that is providing an end-to-end -end upgrade of what is an archaic ECG sector today. So we've spent a lot of money, several million dollars over the last 18 months developing a cloud-based software ECG platform, which means that um, all of this can be delivered without the need to change out hardware. On the other side, we've um, been developing a device that um, can host these new generation of algorithms. And you know, the, the thing that's improving clinical value is these new algorithms, which basically means the ECG is going, going to detect a much broader range of heart disease and being able to do it much earlier. Um, and in terms of you know, where we are as a company, we're participating in what's an enormous sector, the biggest uh, burden in healthcare, by far more than all cancers combined. We've had a lot of money invested, 75 million during our development stage, and we're on the cusp of a lot of milestones and have an extremely small market cap. We're the only company developing you know, software, doesn't require new hardware, plus independent hardware. And this is not a science project. AI ECG is being de-risked. It's 510K now. The FDA um, brought forward a new clinical pathway. The, um, the CPT code has been put in place and CMS agreed reimbursement as of January this year, which was led by Mayo, Mayo Clinic. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, of uh, clinical publications saying that this, this is all possible and can be done, including many of those from us. And since we last spoke, we've been given uh, FDA breakthrough designation statement states for one of our algorithms. We are undertaking an offering at the moment. You can buy a unit, which is one share of stock, which converts into common, plus a warrant for $3.50, which is actually below our current um, share price on the market. And uh, that uh, round launched at a three, $4 million pre-money valuation, which is representative of our sort of low market cap. And um, that offering has been going very well. If you look at our K, you can see we've had several million dollars in, uh, committed and it will be closing out soon. And, you know, I won't dwell on this, but HeartFlow went public last week. And if you look at, at some of the people who've had clearance for a few years and are generating now you know, reasonable revenues, they have multi-billion dollar market caps in this space. But each of them are quite niche in terms of what they're doing. And we have a much bigger market opportunity, a much better uh, use case. Our market cap is $7 million. So what I take from that is if we can succeed in getting our clearances in the near term, and move into the kind of revenues that we think we can make, then very quickly we have a monster opportunity. Um, ECG is used everywhere in healthcare. It's not a cardiology-based product, um, which the others primarily are. This is a uh, used absolutely everywhere in um, in in healthcare. And you know, there's a billion people present to ambulatory care in the visits to ambulatory care in the U.S. and half of those visits people with high risk factors, despite its uh, limited clinical efficacy, there's more than 100 million ECG tests in the US. So it's no wonder that this is anticipated to become an extremely large market in the near future. And since we last spoke, uh, I said that last time we've been working extremely hard and invested several million dollars in a software platform. Phase one of that has been delivered. It has already been launched. It has already been um, had its first early adopters, which will be reference site, site, sites 
have signed up for that. Phase 1.1 is imminent. And within the next several months, I would expect that to um, phase two to be delivered. So that is moving forward extremely well. And the end phase of that is we're going to we are delivering a software app store for these algorithms, which and we will host our own as well as third party algorithms. So they'll be extremely easily accessible, simple to use for physicians. You just run these on an ECG that's taking place anyway. They'll enable a much wider range of heart disease to be detected with um, an ECG. And the great thing is, we don't. Ha that means we don't have to develop everything. And there's extremely high software-based margins. The Insights platform is being delivered with you know, world-class people, both in the US and internationally. And we are on the cusp of um, FDA submissions and um, clearances. The platform, the software platform, does not require a clearance, which is why we can already roll that out. The algorithms do. They've been given 510K a designation by the FDA, so they're it, you know, on a more simple pathway. And the device is a conventional ECG, which will also then host these algorithms, which will have separate classification. So this looks like a fairly busy slide, and it is because we're, we're doing a lot of things at the moment. And the, the core of what we're doing is about getting clearances and getting to revenue. And I anticipate that next year, we will be in revenue for both our products, both software and the device. And we've had a lot of investment to date, which is not reflective of our current market cap, um, which has enabled us to you know, get to the cusp of major inflection points. And, and from a revenue perspective, there's a massive recurring revenue opportunity here. The, there is estimates of a billion ECG tests around the world. The uh, Medicare CMS agreed in January, so this is you know, a new emerging field, a new reimbursement code of $128 per test. There are very few early technologies that have already agreed reimbursement, and that was on the back of work, which was led by Mayo Clinic, um, which is one of the world's elite clinical institutions in cardiology. Our Insight software platform is pay for use or subscription based, extremely high margin. And our device is not about selling boxes, it's actually single use supplies where you're earning per revenue every test. So very quickly becomes um, extremely profitable. And these are independent processes. The platform can be used on today's ECGs. And, you know, look, we are a small market cap company today. One of the things that really, really excites me is that the, the quality of the people and the institutions that want to work with us. And that's because they recognize that the only effective way that you're going to solve the biggest diagnostic cap in healthcare, which is detection of heart disease, is through the ECG. It is not going to take place through cardiology and cardiac imaging. So um, with that, I'll round out, which is, we, we have a monster opportunity. We are on the um, cusp of a lot of great things. We've had a lot of development since last time around. We did a hat trick, which was FDA breakthrough device designation state, status, a new foundational patent granted in the US, and the, um, um, uh, and the first early adopter of our software platform rolled out, all of which took place in July. So there's a lot going on um, and a lot happening. All right, are you ready for questions? I'm ready for questions. All right, we've got about a minute left. Let's see. Um, uh, Brad wants to know, is the AI in the technology proprietary and is it patent protected? Uh, yeah, we've got 44 patents and we have um, 10 of those are US patents. So there's, there's a, lo a lot of what we do which is patented. And Peyton asks, what is a revenue model? Is this technology a one-time sale? Or because there is AI, is it recurring revenue once implemented? Um, so the software platform, so this is this is all recurring revenues. It's, it's not one-time revenues. So the $128 per test per algorithm that's agreed for reimbursement means that there's an enormous revenue which will come out of every, each and every test. That triples revenue for an ECG for a healthcare institution. And Carl said you mentioned the word de-risk. 
so that is an opinion. What milestone has brought you to that opinion? The fact that the FDA granted um, a clinical pathway for AICG, the fact that the American Medical Association have uh, granted CPT codes, the fact that those have now translated into Medicare actual reimbursable codes, and the fact that there's about probably a thousand clinical studies or hundreds of clinical studies around the world for different indications for use that demonstrate that you can absolutely do this with an ECG. Wonderful. Well, Andrew, thank you so much. We are out of time, but we'll get the rest of these questions over to you so you can answer on your own. And we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Thank you very much and appreciate you having me again. All right, everyone, we'll be right back with Jaguar Health.